still uh, try, uh, is trying to silence you? Do you believe that? Let me put it this way. Um, maybe I lasted longer than I probably would have based on um, my views on uh, France. And it's not even my view. It's basically stating the facts in terms of what France is doing to Africa. Uh, what are they currently doing? What they're currently doing and have been doing for decades uh, since uh, the quote unquote independence of the uh, former French colonies, yes. Um, so what is happening? Because look, the reality is a lot of Americans are not necessarily hearing about what's happening in African nations. Seven of the top ten fastest growing economies are, uh, are come, come from Africa. But you also have a significant impact of the Chinese in many African countries as well. Um, and so do you believe that uh, the government of France uh, is, it still has uh, com a lot of control over a number of African nations of their former colonies? They have significant control over uh, all of their former colonies, uh, specifically 14 of them. Uh, just to uh, give you the highlights of what they did when they were giving the uh, independence, so to speak, to their former colonies, they forced them to sign a document which they are calling the Pact for the Continuation of Colonization. You have to understand, on one hand, they are saying we're giving you independence, which turned out to be mostly uh, political independence, but that you also have to sign this document, which is titled the Pact for the Continuation of Colonization. So you're going to be independent, but you have to agree to continue to be colonized. So two countries said, absolutely not. We are not going to sign those two do uh, the, that document. Those two countries? Mali and uh, Guinea. OK. And what the French did, they went into those two countries, took everything that th they thought they had brought to those two economies, poured concrete into the sewage pipes, and completely devastating the two economies. This was done as a way of letting the other countries know that if you do not sign this document, this is the fate that awaits you. How has that negatively impacted those African countries? It has uh, impacted them terribly, terribly, terribly. If you look at it, uh, you give up your, uh, the Pact for the Continuation of Colonization said, those countries were expected to deposit 85% of their bank reserves. Uh, back then uh, with the uh, French Central uh, Bank under the control of the French Minister of Finance. And should those countries wish to uh, request some of those monies, because remember they were only left with 15% of, uh, of their reserves, then they would have to submit a financial statement for the country, and if approved, they could only access up to 20% of whatever they had deposited the year before as a loan at commercial interest rates. The only difference now is the 85% deposits have now been lowered down to maybe between 50 and 60%. But the countries are still forced and required to deposit their bank reserves with the French Central Bank. Um, so picture this situation. You are depositing all your monies with France. Should you need some of your money, you get it as a loan at commercial interest rates. So immediately, you have a credit with France, but you begin to owe France. This has been going on and continues to this day. So combined, the 14 countries are giving to France cash, cold hard cash, over $500 billion every year. And France takes that money and invests it in its own stock market under the French name, and the countries may or may not know the returns. Currently, for every $14 billion that France takes out of Africa, by the time they finish investing it in the French stock market, they are realizing upwards of 300 billion. So you do the math to see how much money France is taking out of Africa every year. And yet France has the audacity to then look at African countries and call them poor countries. Why would poor African countries give $500 billion to France year in and year out? What really gets me the most is how does the world sit back and watch this carnage take place in Africa. Where is the United Nations? This is the body that's supposed to be looking out uh, for any violations of human rights. It is my humble opinion that singularly, what France is doing to Africa is the biggest violation of human rights. Women and children are dying of starvation, youth unemployment, 
when the same poor countries are giving seven, $500 billion to France. It simply does not make any sense. And I don't know how the world can sit back and watch all this unfold and nobody is saying anything. It's unacceptable. It is wrong. And we're simply asking France to do what is right, what is just, and what is fair with the Africans. I